Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct another lab session uh, with MP Lab and Proteus environment. And we will try to understand one or one, another important application. Uh, and this time we will try to exploit logical instructions of PIC 18F microcontroller. So let's see what we have given as a task or as an required application. So uh, in this application, there are three sensors. You can say that these are temperature sensors. Sensors are attached with RB1, RB2, and RB3. So these three sensors, S1, S2, S3, are sensors or temperature sensors, and they are actually connected with RB1, RB2, and RB3 respectively. So what they do, they actually sense uh, temperature, and whenever temperature uh, arises or rises um, to a certain level or to a certain threshold level, then actually they send some high pulse or high uh, value to these pins, right? And furthermore, in this application, we have an LED which is connected to RC4, right? So RC4 pin is connected with LED. So LED is kind of uh, output device and these sensors are input devices. So what is thing that we have to design if temperature observed at any of the sensor, right? Uh, exceeds a specific threshold. That means if any of these sensors send high value to RB1, because whenever temperature exceeds certain specific threshold level, then they will send this high value to RB1 or RB2 or RB3. So any one of these value, uh, exceeds a specific threshold value and they will send some pulse to RB1 or RB2 or RB3, right? So what we have to do, we have to alarm, uh, we have to generate an alarm. So alarm alert is generated by this LED or green LED. Uh, it could be any, any color LED. So I'm just taking green LED connected to RC4. So what we have to do, we have to write in a program for this application in which if any one of these three pins receives high value from any one of these sensors, then this LED should be turned on. Remember, it says any one. That means it is quite possible that any two sensors, or it is also possible that any three of, um, all three are generating high value. So LED should be turned on, right? But minimum requirement is at least one of these three sensors should be sending high value to these three pins, right? So let's write the code. Okay, this is the code I have written for you people. So let's discuss this code one by one or line by line, right? So very first instruction is BCF press C comma four. Uh, and we know that uh, it will clear the pin number four of press C register. That means we are creating RC four pin as or declaring RC four pin as output pin, right? then this AG is label, so we will just ignore it. Then what we are doing, BCF port C comma four, that means we are sending zero to port C comma four or RC four. That means we are clearing uh, this pin RC four or we are turning off this LED. Furthermore, let's see what we are going to do. Move literal to working binary four times zero, triple one, zero. That means we are sending this value to working register. And remember zero pin is zero, one pin is high, two pin is high, and three pin is high. And why we are doing so, if you uh, cl closely observe these three pins, RB1, RB2, RB3. So basically there are pin number one, pin number two, and pin number three are involved. So these three bits are high, one, one, one. There is no RB0, that is why R zero pin is uh, zero. And then fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh bit is also zero. So this, uh, eight bit binary value is uh, is moved inside working register. And then what we are doing, we are and we are, we are applying logical and right between working and file. What file port B, which is receiving this uh, sensor value, right? Which is receiving this sensor value. So uh, when uh, let's say, let's say sensor one sends some value. So we will have a one and port 
uh, what b r b zero is not connected to any value, so it will have a zero. Sensor two is not sending any value, so it will be zero. It will be zero also r b three, and then four other pins right will also be zero. And we are ending this information with this binary value. So let's say what we are doing zero, one, zero, zero. Sorry, binary values are one and one here. Then zero, then zero, then zero. Let me correct these values. These are basically one. So one, right? So if I'm going to apply AND gets, it will become zero. One and one, it will become one. Zero and one, it will become zero. Zero and one, it will become zero, right? And rest of the bit are zero. So you, you know that just only that sensor, right? Which was sending one value, it is causing this value or this complete result, right? This is a complete result, let me highlight you. This is a result, right? And this result is non zero because we have a sensor value. Let's suppose it, if it was also zero, so it will be a zero. So this complete result would become zero. And you know that whenever a result of logical and arithmetic operation in PIG 18F microcontroller would be zero, then zero flag will high. But in this case, it is not happening. So what is going to happen? You know, said you, you, you see the next line, I'm checking this branch zero. That means I'm checking, I'm creating a check on the zero flag. And if it is zero, so we will send it to AG. AG is what? Start of the program. That means there is no alarm. If this data is zero, that means there is no sensor, uh, no sensor transmitting any value to any of the bit. So result will be zero. And we will send this program back to the start, right? And we will start again checking, right? But in this case, when sensor one was sending certain value, so this data is not zero. So this branch BZAG will not be true and we will, uh, it will fall. So we will go back. We will not jumping back to the start, but rather we will go to the next instruction. And what is the next instruction? In the next instruction, we have BSF port C comma four, which means we are sending one value to this LED and LED will turn on. And then what we are doing, we are again branching it to again. Again means we are again uh, coming back to this position where we are going to do, we are, we, are, we are going to make another check. Let's say this LED was turned on and somebody who was sitting in mo uh, monitoring and uh, uh, department, he will uh, check that sensor. He will take the considerable uh, actions and then this temperature uh, alarm will be down. So what is going to happen? This value, right? This value will become zero. So we won't have any sensor who is sending a high value. So this result will become what? Zero. So we will have a zero here. And when we will arrive on this particular instruction, this inst instruction will be true and we will go back to AG. And what is happening here? BCF port C come up. For that means we are sending again zero to this LED. That means this LED will again turn off. So this is the continuous program in which we are trying to implement uh, this application. I hope this program is clear. If you have any confusion, uh, you can post uh, your confusions in comment section. Let's proceed to the MPLAB environment where we are going to build this code in MPLAB. Okay, I hope you can see this code. Uh, I have written the same code in the MPLAB environment, except uh, these two lines, uh, which I have already told you in the last lab that these two lines are written for the hardware uh, configuration bits and soft uh, to perform the simulation in right way in Proteus. So that is why we are just writing these two lines and we will be learning about these lines when we will learn about this configuration bits, right? But for this, at this stage of your course, you need to just take these lines as it is. And this is the same code what we have written in the earlier on the board. And uh, only these two lines are included because it is including hash include the library of P18F 452 and we are originating it and then terminating in the end. So this is the code. And now what we have to do, we have to just build the 
code let's make it you see this is actually successful we don't have any error right we don't have any error so now we will be burning this code into the ampilab in, in, into the protease environment okay this is the protease environment i have already created the complete simulation because i have already explained the connection of switches and leds and with this particular uh, pick 18 f452 in protease environment so i have just skipped that part in this video uh, but the new thing that you observe in this video is these these switches you know that we have used simple uh, uh, single pole as uh, svdd switches earlier or push button as a switch or to simulation the effect of sensor but this time we are implementing this diff switches you know that these are available in ic format so the uh, in proteus in the speak option you can actually choose these diff switches as well and i have just created the right connections because if you clearly observe that these are rb1 rb2 and rb3 pins and these are connected to these switches and another terminal of these switches are connected to vcc so whenever i'm just going to turn it uh, right now you see this black color is on off whenever i'm going to switch it on on this switch will off right like this i can actually switch it let me do it for you you see you can actually just click on on it will be on but right now this simulation is not running that is why we won't see any effect but that's this is how you can actually turn on any of the dip switch uh, furthermore you see this led which is connected to rc4 pin let me highlight it for you uh, here it is this is the rc4 pin right and it is connected to this led right this is the output device so what is going to have when you know that these switches dip switches right are basically simulating the effect of what effect of sensor 1 sensor 2 and sensor 3 so whenever we are going to turn on any of these switches this led should be turning on right so let's see if this uh, and one thing more we have to build, uh, we have to uh, burn the code right uh, i have already burned it but let me show you how you will click on this microcontroller then there is an added properties and then you will have to choose a specific uh, code that you have written for this in ampilab environment i have to choose this hacks environment right and then i will click on this open right and then click on okay so now this code is burned and let's see if this code is working or not so we have to go to this run button and click on it now this simulation is running we see these all switches are off that means we don't have any sensor who is sending high value to any of these pins so if i am going to uh turn on any of these sensors or any of any of these switches what is going to happen this led should be turning on let's say i'm just turning on this uh second switch which is simulating the second uh, sensor effect and it is connected to rb2 so let's say i'm going to turn it on see i turn it on that means this led is off so someone took some precautionary measures and this sensor goes low and the, we will turn it off and this led is high so what is going to happen let's say we try another switch so this switch is on now and meanwhile this sensor was sending high value another sensor goes uh, or exceeds specific threshold it becomes high right so though we have decreased this sensor the sensor 3 but now still this led is high because sensor 2 is also sending so if we turn on all the sensors that means all the sensors are sending high value to these corresponding pins so that means led we should be turning on so you can see that uh, if you want to turn it turn it off this led you have to turn off all the sensors or all the switches which are simulating the effect of sensor so i ho i hope you have understand this application in this proteus environment if you have any query regarding these connections in proteus environment or any other confusion regarding this application you can post your queries and comments in comment section thank you so much for listening